Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and I'm barbecuing on my front porch. Today's meal idea comes from Valeria Porter of Lucas, Ohio. And she likes pretty much anything with chicken, so I'm going to be doing a California style chicken melt. Basically it's going to be a little uh, twist on an open faced chicken sandwich. Key to this one is very thinly sliced chicken breasts. Okay, we go ahead and put them on here to get them started. Yeah, the key is very, very thin. They're going to go fast. I've also got some asparagus spears going here in the back. This is kind of an experiment. That, uh, we had a thread going on uh, Facebook. Some people were thinking the uh, next Food Network stars idea of asparagus dipped in chocolate was terrible. But they'll, uh, I'll try anything once. We said, yeah, you go ahead and try it and let us know, so we'll see what happens. Asparagus dipped in chocolate. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, chicken, California-style chicken melts. There's going to be several things that make this actually a California-style. One is alfalfa roots. Who else uses alfalfa? The other one is going to be avocado. And I was talking to one of my neighbors the other day, Donna, in fact, the one I did the video on last week and just telling her what I was going to do and she goes, well, you're for sure going to have green chilies, right? And I thought, well, I don't know. The recipe didn't call for that, but I guess anything California has got to have green chilies in it. So we're going to have some green chili. Take a couple slices of bread here. <clears throat> we're actually going to try to toast this a little bit. We're doing a big adaptation of this recipe. The actual recipe calls for tuna. And I'm substituting chicken for the tuna. It also calls for this thing to be microwave, which yeah, I'm going to try doing it on the grill. So we'll see what happens here. Asparagus is just being grilled in butter, a little salt and pepper, and some minced garlic. Those are looking pretty good. I've also got some hollandaise sauce that I'm going to put with those too. We'll try some in holiday sauce and some in chocolate. Who knows? I, I know the holiday sauce will be good. Let's try the chicken breast. Yeah, the key is to have very thin sliced for these sandwiches. And I was hoping it wasn't going to stick to the grill. I've had these asparagus on here for a few minutes before I started the camera. I actually realized last week also that when I moved the camera to this new direction, I had them right beside my wind chimes. After I watched that video back, I'm thinking, man, it's like ding, 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 ding. So I took the wind chimes down this time. Got a little country music going in the background. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Country music, barbecue on your front porch. Sunny day in San Diego. It's about... 84 out here right now. Beautiful sunny San Diego suburb of Chula Vista, California. Couldn't get much better than this, folks. <laughs> I got a little done there, a little more than I wanted to. That's okay. Not a problem. We'll make sure to get the chicken done. That's that's the key. Without turning it up like I seem to be doing. See what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this asparagus off. And we'll see what we have here. Sauteed in butter like that. Whew. Butter and 
minced garlic, salt and pepper. Already heated up some holiday sauce here. Bit of that on there. Like I say, I know that one's going to be good. And the other one got a little bit of dark chocolate. Oh, I have no idea how this is going to taste. We're going to be finding out right about now. Go ahead and try the chocolate. This is the one that everybody. Thought it looked terrible. Hmm. I gotta tell you, I was actually hesitant about that myself, but. I'm gonna try to hollow move. That's good, but hey, you skeptics. I gotta tell you, that tastes really good. Because I like asparagus and I like chocolate bowls, so I use dark chocolate. I'm telling you, it's very good. That even surprises me. Alright, I think we got our chicken done here without getting it too dried out. So, what we're going to do... I'm going to tell you, that's, that asparagus is way better than I thought it was going to be. We're going to take... Toasted side up. On there, we're going to spread some mayonnaise. And when I say mayonnaise, I mean real mayonnaise, not that miracle stuff, if you know what I mean. That miracle stuff has nothing to do with mayonnaise. That's a dressing. It's got just a little bit more toasted than I wanted it to, but that's okay. It'll do. On that, I'm going to put a couple slices of tomato. By the way, the tomatoes are right out of my garden this morning. And to that, we're going to do a little bit of alfalfa sprouts. This one California. All right, now we're going to take one of the chicken breasts, put it on there. And now we're going to take a little bit of chopped onion and on top of that and on top of that sprinkle a little cheese I like the Mexican four cheese blend helicopter flying overhead here now we're going to take that put that right back on the grill melt the cheese a little bit. That's where the microwave would come in normally, but like I said, we're not doing a microwave. <clears throat> I've been feeling all that good today, so my voice is probably a little off. I feel a little bit better as the day goes on. I'll tell you guys, that, that asparagus and chocolate, that was pretty darn good. Both the chocolate and the hollandaise are very good. I'm as shocked as y'all are. Because even though I like both asparagus and chocolate, even I was hesitant about what it would taste like. You gotta take my word for it. It's good. All right. Toasted, a little bit melted. And 
And then we're going to put on our little bit of green chilies. I was thinking about putting putting a whole green chili on there, and I thought, nah. We're doing pieces of everything else, so I'm just going to do the diced green chilies. And we're also obviously just going to make a California. Got to have avocado on the top. Like I say, open face. I don't know why I'm even cutting this. I probably should have just left it. Here is your California style chicken milk. Valeria, I hope you're going to like it. Something a little bit different. I think you actually will like it. Next week, I have uh, Kathy Porter Wagner from Finley, Ohio, has requested chicken marsala. I just found a good recipe for that, so I think you're going to like that. So, Valeria, now you can tell your people, your friends and family, when you make this for them, laissez les bon temps brûler. Let the good times roll. And again, Valeria, I thank you for your recipe idea, because now I'm getting ready to eat your California-style chicken melt.